welcome you to the Equinox Celebration webinar. With this webinar, we begin the new cycle of 2016 to 2017 year. There are few hours that um, separate us from that moment when sun enters the sign of Aries, inaugurating the new year cycle, new astrological year cycle. The theme of the year that will inspire all the webinars that 2025 initiative will present to you this year will be recognizing emerging light. We live in the time of emerging light. The spring of humanity is coming. The winter of materialism struggles to maintain its dominance over humanity, deceiving hearts and minds and installing in us our worst fears. But light is unstoppable as it comes from within each of us. This is the light of our soul. And as we know the light within, we can recognize the same light within others. And as we recognize it, we immediately connect with it, building bridges of light. Overcoming boundaries of misunderstanding and fox of deceit. We connect each of our individual lights, expanding the planetary brilliant network of light, defeating darkness and ushering the coming of the spring. The Tibetan master Jual Kul said that peace will be the result of understanding and sharing and not the origin of them. And so we see the work of building the bridges of understanding as one of the main tasks for people of goodwill in this time of changes. The period between the year 1945 and 2025 is called the stage of the forerunner. This is a window of opportunity where when humanity has been working to prepare for the coming of the spring, which we as a terrorist call as reappearance of the Christ and externalization of the spiritual hierarchy of the planet. But in order that spring to come, the work of preparation needs to be done. And that constitutes the establishing of right measure of peace, implementing the principle of economic sharing, and cleaning house of religious and political affairs. So our collective effort is needed to keep that vision for the humanity in order to overcome its cupidity, aggression, greed, and glamour invoking the coming of the spring. The spring is coming. In this new year cycle, through all our webinars, we, the 2025 initiative, uh, will be striving to emphasize the importance of the following points. What are the practical signs of the emerging light? How we can see and celebrate the emergence of the light and connect with that emerging light despite the differences between us, between our cultures, between our traditions and our concepts. 
how we see the light and build the bridges of light. We will bring the focus on the importance of the work of dissipating illusion and dispelling glamour, especially glamour of fear. We will emphasize and will share about the maintaining of spiritual stability and maintaining in alignment, our individual alignment and our group's alignment. Ongoingly, we will bring the focus on how we combine our inner knowledge with outer, outer skills in service. We will continue looking for the new language and new symbols adequate for our times to, to express the ideas communicated throughout the ages through the teachings of ageless wisdom. That would be the focus of all our webinars throughout the year. You can find the calendar of our webinars that's already planned and still in the process of developing on our website, 2025initiative.org. Besides the regular solar festival webinars, uh, we will continue the cycle of new moon uh, webinars through which we will explore possibility for our collective alignment and we encourage everyone to participate in those webinars and take initiative sharing your thoughts and inspiration through mini talks and leading meditations. We will continue supporting the cycle of equinoxes and solstices as for key points of the planetary movement throughout the solar system. And today is our first webinar in the equinox cycle. The 2025 initiative strives to become to become a place where the, we collectively reflect, share, and interpret ideas in order to create thought forms of solution for the current world crisis to the common benefit of humanity. Such thought forms would be brought into collective meditation to be empowered and released into the collective mental field of humanity, thus aiding the preparation of people's hearts and minds for the coming spring. The spring is coming. And we begin this new year cycle with the series of planetary healing meditations which will be presented to us in the cycle of equinoxes by Mass Bronsted from Denmark. And uh, the reason we decided to connect the planetary healing meditation with the cycle of equinoxes as equinox is the time when throughout the ages, in many cultures, people been celebrating the change of the seasons, aligning with Mother Earth cycles. And therefore we see it as a good opportunity 
to tap into the collective consciousness working in the meditative alignment for the planetary healing. And so I um, invite uh, Mass to take a lead and share with us about the work that we will be doing today. Hi, Mass. Thank you very much for inviting me to do this work. Thank you for coming back as we continue this work uh, that we started doing last uh, September. And um, we're really grateful for your work. Thank you. So the floor is yours. Thank you very much. I look very much forward to this evening. Having a bunch of trained meditators to do this work with is uh, really a special opportunity. So. Let's see what we can, uh, if, if we can tonight together. So the, um, the purpose of this meditation is to heal uh, the planet, but as members of the human family, maybe we have a designated task to try to heal humanity. Uh, so that will be our main goal. And how can maybe 50 of us around the world about that we might ask ourselves? Well, if we try to link up with the vast beings of the living nature, the angelic beings uh, of nature, we may just have a chance to create a field of consci consciousness and a field of energy which far supersedes what we can build up together uh, as humans alone. So that's the all, overall purpose and, and uh, logics behind the uh, planetary healing meditation that we will be doing together today. Um, some of you are probably, to some degree anyway, familiar with the teachings of Alice Bailey, and I think you will have an advantage um, maybe because we are working with these planetary inlets. And for those of you who may not be familiar with these wonderful teachings, uh, try just to follow sort of the overall energy uh, and the overall concept of what we do and do. Uh, well, not wild in meditation anyway, I encourage you not to put too much thought into why uh, we're working with those specific uh, cities around the world, which are called planetary inlets in the uh, baby works. All right. So, some of the remarks I wanted to uh, to share with you, just to make sort of a framework for what we're doing. Then I'll just share a few lines about sort of the core mechanics or dynamics of the uh, of, of the way of uh, uh, the meditation, the way the meditation flows, as I just mentioned, linking up with uh, what the Tibetan master, who Alice Bailey calls place. And he states that these inlets are five in the numbers. There are some, I think it's two hidden, uh, planetary inlets, which are not sort of maybe they are at the moment, but we're still, I'm still anyway uh, tonight working with uh, planetary inlets, uh, active inlets, which are New York, Tokyo, Darjeeling, London, and Geneva. And I'd like you to try to visualize for just a uh, few seconds is that if we hover about New York City, sort of just flows up there in the air above New York City, and that's our perspective, then to the east of us, we will have Europe, we will have London and Geneva, and to the west, we will uh, the horizon meet top 
even later on, Darjeeling. And vis now, now try to visualize for just a few seconds that New York sort of is the center point between these two triangles at first. So the one triangle being New York, Tokyo, Darjeeling. The other one being New York, London and Geneva, Geneva. So those are the two triangles. Now visualize if the energies move rapidly around in this, it will, I think we can, uh, we can agree upon, I hope, it will start to look more and more like two sort of circles uh, connecting in New York City. Or maybe to put it more Precisely, it will start, the energy will start to flow bluff, I think, crossing through New York. Sometimes I have to have some computer capable people helping me uh, do the, do a slide over this. But, but at the moment, we will have to use our creative uh, imagination. So, that infinity symbol or figure of eight, the core dynamic of this healing meditation. From there we direct you all the major places in the world where healing is needed, major hot spots at the moment. Okay, it was just to give you sort of an outline of the meditation. Now let's, uh, let's do the meditation together. We start by just briefly realigning in our own alignment. Connect with our inner silence. In that silence, we try to rhythm or tone of our essence or soul. We expand this note, rhythm to flow through every thought, motion, sensation, and still in our body. we identify as souls.
our own alignment. That's beautiful initiative that we're part of today. Five initiatives. Visualize this as central point of light emanating the, the, the of this that we are on. Allow it is from this point pull through every one of us. While assimilating to the note, clear note of the 2025 initiative. Now we recognize the fact that there are around throughout the planet connecting wind of flight. Same of energy from our own heart. of this webinar that's connecting to cultures We have now created a link, but we have also created what we know as a ring pass knot. Meaning what we share together is soul purpose, soul energy, soul light. That is what we all strive to bring into this wonderful group field. Let us now refocus on the focal point of light and energy.
within this group field 2025 initiative. We now see it's part of a greater light. Known to some of us as the new group of world service. And we also make all people of good hearts working towards unity and synthesis. Humanity. And this greater light in turn is part of an even bigger light, focal point, heart center of this planet, known as the spiritual hierarchy, embodied by the Christ. Imam Mahdi, Bodhisattva, Lord Maitreya, a being known by many names. And we connect as one group with the mind of Christ. We invoke both the help of the Christ to connect with the source of healing energies on this planet. And that source is embodied by a majestic angelic being. to whom we humbly offer our services. And we invoke help to heal humanity. as sons and daughters of the human And let's visualize that we all hover in the air above New York City. Directly below us is the General Assembly, the United Nations headquarters. Probably the closest we come to a capital of the world.
You visualize the energy is flowing from this angelic source of healing to the national angel of United States of America. Focused somewhere where we are focused now. We visualize the energies being moved on from the national angel to its counterpart, part in Japan. We visualize it somewhere in the air above Tokyo. Receiving the energies and passing energy on to the National Angel of India. We visualize it in the air above dark chilling, northeast corner of India. And it sends its response back to the angel here in New York. Initialize the healing energies flowing through these vast angelic beings, creating a powerful expanding field of energy around it, emanating from the energy lines between these three beings. We just keep this flow of energy in the back of our mind for a second. Refocusing New York, the we never left. We now visualize the energies flowing over the Atlantic Sea to the National Angel of Great Britain or England. I'm quite sure that. It's the same angel for the rest of the UK, so let's just visualize the one hovering about above London. And this angel connects with the National Angel of Hovering in the air above Geneva, 
Machineer. And it sends its response back to these to the angel and angel of America, New York. Now we combine the two triangles and we start visualizing that the energy moves in a butterfly-like pattern, symbol of infinity, crossing, cross-sectoring in New York, it flows, connect to Tokyo, Darjeeling, back to New York and through New York to London, Geneva, back to New York. We visualize that this energy flows, flow keeps increasing in intensity thus creating a bigger and bigger energy and magnetic field around it, spreading throughout the world, connecting every part of the planet with this dynamic stream of heat. So now we have an alignment vertically from the source of healing, healing angel through the Christ to the national angel of United States of America and a horizontal flow of energies. New York, Tokyo, Darjeeling, New York, New York, London, Geneva, New York. We spend a few minutes just as observing the energies intensify, spreading more and more to every part of the world. Keeping that in the back of our minds, in our hearts, this alignment, we now 
visualize how some of the healing energies is naturally being drawn towards hotspots in the world. I will name a few, please, in your own minds. Focus on others as well, if needed. We see the energy is flowing to the National Angel of God knows it's needed there. But also to its neighboring countries, all being affected by the human atrocities taking place in Syria, vast amounts of refugees in the neighboring countries. In particular, Turkey is experiencing suffering from consequences. This human tragedy In a very overall perspective, let's visualize that what we are trying to help achieving or contributing to achieving is that we sublimate and lift the energies from humanity's solar plexus, very much anchored in the Middle East. to the heart center of humanity. So let's try to maintain a state of love, not pity or identifying with the Troubles. And we see that Yemen needs a lot of healing energy as well in that region further to the southwest spreading to the northern part of Africa Libya, Tunisia in particular and Mali in great need of healing Still visualizing that the healing energies go through the national angels and from there spreading through the soul of the nation. Nations of Syria, Turkey, Lebanon, Yemen, Mali. Libya, Tunisia, and probably a number of other hotspots. Really needs healing.
And with that in the back of our minds, we see the healing energies flowing out to every member of the human family who is in need of healing all over the world. And while we see that, let's conclude the meditation by sounding the great invitation, uh, invocation. I would ask you, Wendy, to do so. You have such a beautiful voice and do it in a great way. Ending by. The Great Invocation From the point of light is in the mind of God Let light stream forth into human minds Let light descend on earth From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into his. May Christ return to earth. From the center, the will of God is known. Let purpose guide all little human wills. The purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Thank you. And thank you all. I have been a time activist. We were supposed to have time for a few sharings, but we don't have time for that. I, I can see, but I'm sure that we'll be able to contribute with the comments or input to the meditation format or anything you would like to 25 initiative. Go to the webpage 5initiative.org and uh, see what opportunities there are. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mass. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone. Happy Equinox and Happy New Year. Our next webinar will be the Aries Solar Festival webinar on March 22nd. Our guest will be Heidi Rose Robbins. And the topic of your presentation will be the touch of Uranus, birthing the new world order, one electric idea at a time. So please join us on March 22nd and let's keep our alignment and uh, the sun enters Aries in few hours um, 4 30 in the morning of GMT 12 30 in the morning for New York happy new year let's stay connected